Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science and all about the large intestines. After passing through the small intestine, digested food travels into the large intestine. Your large intestine is roughly 9 feet in length, but it gets its name because it has a larger diameter than the diameter of the small intestine. Your large intestine is also called the colon and it's divided into several sections. The beginning section is called the cecum. Digested food from the small intestines travels to the cecum, which is a little like a pouch, and it receives this digested food from a section of the small intestine called the ileum. From the cecum, digested food travels upward into the ascending colon. It then travels to a horizontal section called the transverse colon, and then descends into the descending colon. Next, it travels into an S-shaped section called the sigmoid. Water and salt is absorbed in the large intestine, and also food is eventually converted into feces. The feces is stored in the sigmoid until it travels to the rectum and then exits the body. Your large intestines also contains trillions of bacteria, which are part of your microbiome. These bacteria and your large intestine have a very important symbiotic relationship. The bacteria produce vitamin K, B vitamins, and are vital for the digestion and health of your large intestines. Vitamin K helps with your blood clots, builds your bones, and aids in keeping correct insulin levels. So there's the large intestines. Thanks for watching. And Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.